Hello there and welcome to Tech Tips. Today we're going to have a little editing video with me, Jacob Goodein. And today's thing we're going to talk about is actually Flickr Free. And what is that, you wonder? That is a plugin. A plugin to do what? It's to remove Flickr. Very self explanatory, I know, but it's a very nice program. It's made by the company Digital Anarchy. They have a few good plug plugins more, but I'm just going to go through and show you what difference it would make if you got it. The reason you would buy this is, for example, if your kitchen lights are flickering when you're shooting your YouTube video or say a cooking show or something like that. I've run into this issue before and that's why I had to find a deflickering software. Because you don't want to cause elept elliptic shocks to people watching your shows. So, uh, all you do is you download it, you pay for it and do all of that jazz. So if we go into our uh, software now, we're going to see. I have a little video here that we ended up having some flickering because we're shooting slow motion. It doesn't flicker in normal frame rate, so something made it flicker. Anyways, if I play it here, I toss it up on full screen and you can see it does a little pulsing constantly. There we go. And if we activate the, the flickering software and then play it and then toss it up on screen, and it's gone. Or if it's anything left, it's just reduced an awful lot. So, as you can see, it actually does help a lot to have one of these uh, softwares. It doesn't cost much, but it'll save you a lot in time and headaches. Because you just don't want to reshoot things. Not all things can be reshot. Some things just happen at the time. But if you go up here and uh, uh, in the presets, you can see the issues you could have, like the rolling horizontal bands, for example, your slow motion things we had now, time lapse issues. So you just kind of go, and oh, and st stage lights too, that's an issue. That could be an issue if you have a flickering one. It often comes when you have 60 hertz and 50 hertz, and they're not playing along together. That would make it flicker. So anyways, there's a whole bunch of uh, presets there, so you don't have to think so much about it. Then you can just set how much you want it on your radiuses and your thresholds and it can detect motion, like which direction is the flicker going. So, it's a really nice software, it helps an awful lot if you run into this issue, and it will save you a lot of headaches. So, that was today's tip in editing, and then it's Digital Anarchy is flicker free. So, if you have any more softwares to test, or any problems that you have in your editing, or something like it, or you just want to say hi, leave a comment below. Uh, don't forget to follow us on Facebook and uh, YouTube, and we'll see you next time.